A new study reveals some of the biggest risk factors when it comes to sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. Although it's not uncommon to want to cuddle your baby while he or she sleeps, the results show bed sharing is the number one no-no. Researchers looked at over 8,000 SIDS-related deaths from 24 states. They found almost 70% of the infants were sleeping on an adult bed or near another person. That percentage was higher for infants younger than four months old. Just to clarify, it's not a risk to have the child in the same room, just in the same bed. Now, what's interesting is the divide between ages. As a CBS medical contributor points out, older infants have different risk factors. For babies older than four months, their predominant risk factor had more to do with the crib environment, if there were dangerous objects in the crib or blankets around them. These findings are important because although we don't know a lot about what happens in the moment the baby stops breathing in SIDS cases, knowing the risk factors is the easiest way to prevent the mysterious deaths. The Mayo Clinic also has a few other tips to keep babies safe during sleep or nap time. First, do not place them on their stomachs or sides, as that can make breathing difficult. It's good to have babies in the same room as their parents, just not co-sleeping. Also, make sure you keep an eye on premature babies, those who are exposed to secondhand smoke, those with brain abnormalities, and infants with respiratory infections. A SID specialist told Health Day more testing needs to be done to identify why parents are ignoring safe sleeping advice. Is it because of poverty? and they simply have no safe place for their baby to sleep? Or is it because they are receiving incorrect advice from their parents, family members, or medical professionals? Thousands of infants die from SIDS in the U.S. every year. Most of them are four months old or younger. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.